followed in greyhounds I'd say for 20 years or more now. I breed my own dogs, I train my own dogs and I race my own dogs. And at the moment I've got three dogs racing. I have a litter of pups that are seven months old and I have another litter of pups about eight weeks old. Always looking forward to them ones coming on because you never know what's, what you've got. So they're all very well reared dogs, very healthy dogs, but they're all a good temperament. It does keep you on the straight and narrow. It gives you focus in life. Um, it gives you a lot of reward as well, I suppose. My record is okay as in the number of winners I've trained, but it's not all about the winners. It, it is about the love of the dogs and about the routine. The gallop is only about 150, 160 yards long. So it just gives them a nice blowout and keeps their energy up. And they're so happy to come up around. Then they run off and they play around the grass. And if they didn't love it, as soon as Connor lets them go, they won't bound up to you. They'd want to go somewhere else. So it keeps the dogs happy as well. You know, they're, they're, they're bred to run. They love to run, so. Connor! Come on! I'd like to think I do all the work, but you can never do dogs on your own. So the lads, the three lads, Kevin, Connor, and Alan, are sort of involved in helping me out. And Connor, obviously, I, I've seen Connor nights when his dog or whatever has won a race, and he'd be over to pick up, picking his dog up after the race. And when you go to greet him, the tears are running down his cheek with joy. So oh yeah, it, it keeps great interest in it and it's a common bond that we all have here and that's great with a family to have something that they, they're all interested in and they all have a bit of fun out, you know. We won Ireland's fittest family, which was quite tough on me really, you know. I didn't have to do anything except sit at home, but very proud that they, they, they did wonderful. Yeah, the benefits, you can just bring them for a walk and you can get one about and you can have fun with them and some days you'd be in a bad mood and she'd cheer me up and it's just good and you, you can always rely on her. I do find on, on a mental health issue that like routine is very important, very important for dogs, but also important for us human beings. Like, come on, come, good boy. There's races for all levels of greyhounds, and I'm sure all owners of trainers, same as myself, they get a buzz win in an A8 and A10 race. They know it's not the derby, but it's the effort you've put in and the reward of winning a race is fantastic, you know. And I'm sure the dog knows as well to get his head in front. <laughs> He's happy with himself as well, you know. This dog is racing tonight in the final, and this dog is running in an A5 one-off race tonight. The key, I suppose, on a big night, and uh, I hope it works tonight, is not to change the routine of what I'm, what I'm doing. You know, they're, they're so used to the routine, and uh, I'm quite happy. So I try and stick to the routine that I have. Oh, they get so excited when I open the kennels tonight now and bring the dogs out in the lead and they see the van open. I won't hold them back. They'll, they'll pull me down to the van to get into the van. And when they get to the track, it's just, you know, you can almost feel the adrenaline rush with them. They just, they're so excited about it all. You know, it's what they're bred for. Good luck, everyone. Fourth, I think. But sure, that's racing for you. Can't win them all, can you? I'll be better no, luck this time. You try, you try and get it right, okay? I'll be better luck this time. And Connor's leading the dog down, and hopefully um, he hasn't been that good at coming away from traps. But I know from my private trials, the dog can run a little bit. But uh, so hopefully, if he breaks, he has a chance. Oh, he's out, alright. He, he misses it. Come on up the rails. Come up. Come up. No. I think we think we ended the night with two forts. <laughs> Once again he's safe and sound, so you go home now and get a big feed and he'd be delighted again. You get used to the disappointments in Greyhound Racing and it's it's a sport. There's winners and losers every day and you won't win every day you come up so. If I didn't have my dogs it'd be like a part of me missing as well, you know. I I've been around them as I say now over twenty years, breeding dogs, racing dogs, you know, and um, having dogs lie on the couch at night time alongside me, so yeah, you'd miss them, you know, and then they, they never give out to you, which is great, you know. <laughs>